All right, welcome to the Cooking Corner this afternoon. Back with us is Chef Joseph Fistrovich from Monroe. He's here with a butternut squash soup, which is something pretty simple. Yeah. And there's a lot of butternut squash this time of year, so yes, perfect time for this. Mm -hmm. We're happy to have you back, Chef well, Joseph. Thanks. How do we get started with our soup today? Uh, well, first, we're going to start with our butter. Um, we're going to get that into our pan, which is already getting hot. And that's a lot of butter, too. Well, How much is that? Uh, that's about four ounces. Okay. And as the butter is melting, we're then going to take our uh, vegetables, which is carrots, leeks, and onions, and then we're just going to saute that in there. Okay, about a cup, half cup of each of those? Yeah, I go a little bit heavier on the carrots uh, for a nice richness of the, the soup. Okay, and we have our pan at a medium heat? Yes. Okay. And we get that nice and mixed up with our butter that we've put in there. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna let this cook down till the vegetables start to get soft a little bit. Once they start to get soft, we're gonna add in our butternut squash. Does that typically take about five, 10 minutes for that? Uh, or does it just depend on the type of stove someone has? It would depend on like how high uh, heat you have. If you have a medium high heat, probably like five to six minutes. Okay. It should be done, uh, not done, but uh, pretty much uh, softened. And then you're gonna add your sweet potatoes after the butternut squash. Okay, we have one, is it one whole sweet potato? Yes. Okay, but chopped up. So chopped it looks up. like it's more than that. It does. Okay. Um, then you're just gonna let this cook down a little bit until kind of like you get the uh, butter coated all in here and they start roasting a little bit. And then I like to add the uh, our spices in here. So what we have is a little bit of ground uh, ginger, allspice, cinnamon, salt, and white pepper. And I like to coat the vegetables in this. What kind of taste does that give it? A little sweetness to it? Um, not so much uh, sweetness, but it kind of gets a little bit of that fall, uh, I don't know. Aroma warm, going. Yeah, warmness that uh, you'll get going in there. Okay. And then once you've done that, then you just take your chicken stock, and you don't have to use chicken stock. You can use vegetable stock or um, just plain water if you like to. Okay. Um, and then uh, just let it bring up to boil, reduce to a simmer. Once you're done cooking it, um, once the vegetables are all nice and soft, you need to uh, puree it so you can use either a blender or a hand stick blender and get to it nice and smooth until you have something close Our to that. Finished product. Yeah. And in, in your opinion, what is this best served with alone or is there something you would pair it with? Um, you can do it like with a nice little, uh, you know, if it's a lunch, you know, soup and a salad. Um, maybe a nice little uh, sandwich. Okay. Um, at dinner time, you know, nice good roasted sure. chicken. And really quickly, what did you put on top of it to kind of give that extra kick? I gave it a little bit of a, a balsamic reduction and some toasted pumpkin seeds. All right, Chef Joseph looks delicious as always. Thank you so much for being Thank here you. today. You can check out Chef Joseph's recipe and others just like it by logging on to newson6.com slash recipes. Be right back with more news and weather after this quick break.